Sandy here. Welcome back to the channel. Today I am playing with some Brutus Monroe and some Dare to Be Artsy products. Now we're doing a collaboration and I thought it would be super fun to make a layout uh, with some Dare to Be Artsy stamps. So I have Wishing Happiness and I also have Nature Backgrounds. Now I, this paper is also from Dare to Be Artsy. It's called All the Buzz. I'm going to use the stripe side. I have some shrink film, and then I also have the Judy's Wreath die set from Brutus Monroe. So, let's see what I can do. Alright guys, so the first thing I did was take out these two larger stamps, and I decided to stamp them directly onto my shrink film. And I'm just using the Brutus Monroe Raven Detail Ink. Uh, you guys, this is my favorite ink, uh, favorite black ink. It just stamps so beautifully. So I am uh, stamping directly onto the shrink film, like I said. Now, if you squeeze too much, even with the magnets holding the shrink film in place, it does want to kind of shift a little bit because of the texture of the film. So I am going to not press as hard um, as I did on that first one so that I get a little bit more of a crisp image. And the good thing about this is since we are going to be shrinking it down, even if your stamping is not utterly perfect, uh, once it shrinks down, you're not even gonna notice. So I decide to do three of each floral here. And I'm just kind of lining it up so that uh, I can get it down on uh, the, the other part of the shrink film. Now I am going to set the shrink film aside to dry uh, because that ink does kind of sit on top of it for a little bit. Normally I would dry my stamping with a heat tool uh, to just set it, but you know what? Can't do that here because it'll start shrinking the shrink film and we can't have that happen. Now I went ahead and took that striped paper and cut it along the diagonal and I'm placing it on uh, some black cardstock. Now I've pulled out this one background stamp and I've just placed it on an acrylic block uh, because I'm going to have some stamping uh, coming out of behind this um, striped paper here. So I am using uh, the Brutus Monroe embossing ink and I'm just taking this uh, stamp and just kind of stamping in a diagonal and I'm not doing it in a straight line I'm kind of changing around and turning and curving my uh, stamping block here so that it doesn't look like just some sort of weirdness in a straight line it's going to look a little bit more organic uh, and that's the whole point since this is supposed to be a florally type thing now you did see me use an anti-static powder bag and what that is going to do is help the embossing powder not stick to the places I don't want it to stick to. I do go off the edges here uh, and that is completely on purpose. Now this is the best part you guys. I absolutely am love, 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 love embossing. And I'm just taking some Brutus Monroe uh, embossing powder in alabaster and I just dump it right on there. I'm going to use another uh, sheet of paper to uh, catch the powder. Of course, I still get some powder on my desk, but you know, that's, that's just what happens. So I grab a Swiffer and go ahead and Swiffer that bad boy. Um, it is great for picking up embossing powder, glitter, all of those little things. It just... Just get yourself a Swiffer and keep it in your craft room. So now that I have this down, I'm going to take my embossing tool and I am going to uh, emboss all of this. So you can kind of see where I have moved around the stamping and it's not really in an exact line. Um, it's kind of nestled within each other and I'm just doing this to ensure that... Um, 
you're going to be able to see this peeking out from behind the stripey bit of paper. Now I am using a thinner black cardstock, so it is warping uh, just a little bit with the heat uh, being applied to it. So now I just do my little thing where I shake it uh, because as you guys know, when you emboss, if you touch it too soon, it's still hot and sticky and it sticks to you and it sticks to whatever you've touched it uh, and then you gotta go back and fix it. Uh, so I realized that I had messed this up and did not, um, I did not pay attention. So I'm putting my striped paper on the opposite side of where it actually should be. Uh, and then I go to put it on and this is where I notice that my florals are kind of off the edge, uh, but they're off the edge in a way that I didn't want them to be. So I realized it was backwards. So had I not uh, trimmed this down, there would have been a lot less of this white embossing uh, poking through. So now I just have to rub the other side of the black paper to try to, try to get, you know, the anti-static powder bag off of it and also any kind of glue residue that was left over when I put down my striped paper. So now I figure it's been a good enough time. It's, it's been a pretty, pretty decent amount of time. So I'm going to fussy cut out my shrink plastic florals. Now I'm being careful as I can uh, because as I said, once it shrinks down, the, the ink will kind of darken and it will like fill in a little bit. But I definitely don't feel like I need to um, keep touching it and kind of blur it and get my fingerprints. I'm just going to use a little pokey tool to hold down the shrink plastic. Um, I really don't need to do this and I don't do it for all of the ones uh, after. Kind of let it shrink on its own. Oh my goodness, you guys, you can't even see the magic. I'm covering it up. Well, at least we'll get a nice reveal. <laughs> so there it is. Look at that. It is all shrunk down. And as you can see up at the top there, I just did that uh, to get that uh, all shrunk down. And I just love it. It reminds me of being a kid and playing with shrinky dinks. Do you guys, did you guys ever do that when you were a kid? Did you guys have shrinky dinks? You know, you colored it with colored pencils and then you baked them in the oven and they shrunk. It was so much fun. So I'm pulling out two velveteen glazes here, and I chose a pink and I chose a yellow one. Uh, and I did that because of the lines in the stripey bits of the paper. So I'm just going to use a palette knife to apply this uh, to a piece of paper, just a scrap piece of paper. And this is a very thin, thin uh, coating of velveteen glaze on here. And I'm doing that because I want it to dry quickly. Um, I mean, I'm pulling out my heat tool too because that will make it dry even faster. Um, and I also need to make sure that all of the velveteen glaze is completely dry because I do plan on stamping over top of it. So once I go ahead and get that completely dry, this bad boy is going to uh, go into the misty. And I do have to say, I'm looking forward to this part of my video because I lost one of my uh, round misty magnets and I'm waiting to see where it goes. So, okay, we got two. One's off there. And then one disappeared. No idea where it went. <laughs> I gotta find it. Okay, I was hoping that I'd be able to see it in the video, but unfortunately I did not. So now I'm going to take those same floral stamps. I'm going to stamp them three times, just like I did on the shrink plastic. And then I'm going to fussy cut them out. So the rounder flowers are all in the yellow and the kind of petally flowers are all in the pink. Now I do uh, go into my stash, grab a couple sheets of paper to map my photo. And this is the Stamping Village kind of uh, sign in Creativation in 2020. So I thought that this would be a fun thing to uh, go ahead and get stamped and done on there. So now I'm just going to figure out where I want my florals to go. I've also gone ahead and die cut uh, some leaves and the word hello from that Judy's Wreath uh, die set 
and I did not show any of that because you guys, my, <laughs> my die cut machines are a hot mess right now. Um, all of my plates on every die cut machine I own are pretty much trashed and broken. So nobody needs to see that. Nobody needs to see my dirty little die cutting secret. So I am going to put these florals down here over top of my photo. And it's kind of overlapping the photo, but there's not really anything that I'm covering up. It's just some greenery. So there's nothing there that I'm like, oh man, oh man, I covered something up that I shouldn't have. I do pop up the word hello, just so it doesn't kind of lean down because my photo is popped up some. And I did decide to pop my photo up so that I could tuck uh, florals underneath of it and there would be a little bit of a height difference. So I'm just going to take these flowers and kind of put them along this diagonal line here. And I am going to overlap them. Um, I feel like that that would be the best way uh, is to overlap and not have any kind of funkiness going on here. Um, and then I'm going to take my shrink plastic flowers and I'm just going to tuck them along as well. Now I'm just using some uh, dry adhesive to place these on. Um, I'm sure you could use a liquid glue, uh, but I just figured that those fit the best. Now I'm going to pull out my greenery bits and I'm just going to use some liquid adhesive to apply these here um, because it's easy. It's quick and easy. Um, some of these pieces are a little bit delicate. They're very thin. Uh, so if I tried to use like a tape uh, gun or a tape runner on them, I feel like I would end up tearing up. Uh, some of these things and you know nobody needs to tear up nobody needs to tear up their florals so I'm just going to keep on adding this greenery in and I am overlapping the greenery on these kind of white greenery bits and I think that it works I don't think that it is too busy um, I feel like it looks like it should be there um, I don't know it just, it's working for me. For me, it's working. Now, I do um, end up putting, I think, all of the greenery bits in. I just want it to look a little bit more natural, even though uh, this would never, these kind of colors and just straight with no variation uh, wouldn't happen naturally. It just feels more natural to me, and I know that that seems... Uh, weird but scrapbooking is a very personal endeavor and you have to do what feels good to you while you're creating. I do go into my stash and pull out some letter stickers just to uh, spell out the word friend so that I can, ple can complete my title that says hello friend. Now that is going to do it uh, today guys. Please make sure you head over to Instagram. Um, I'll have a post there so that you can see uh, how you can enter to win a Bruce Monroe and a Dare to Be Artsy gift card. Um, so there it is. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you again real soon for another video.